In this session, we will take a look at ways to automate the process of naming headers within Alteryx. If you recall from previous sessions, we have talked about something called the select tool. In the select tool, we went in and overrode the name of the headers. We can also override whether we think something should be a number when it's not or a date. But in this case, we had renamed the headers. Now, it, if you recall, before we did the select tool, we had a number specified from the country. We had estudiante, which was the name of the student, um, coded for privacy. We had sexo, which represents gender, nivel, which is grade level, and then P1, P2, P3. And so manually, we had gone in to start to name this. However, often when you're at work, you're going to have data sources that come in several times and you're going to have processes that need to be repeated over and over. You're not going to want to go in and name things manually. What you may do, especially if there's a team of people working on the same project, is have a preset set of names so that when you join files, they use the same headers. And so you'll see I have an Excel file here called source. In some cases, you guys are going to see a 22 question survey for Bolivia. In other cases, you may see a 28 question survey. At this point, we're working with the 22 question survey. And so if you look, NO, rep, NO represents a record number that we were given from Fe Alegria. Estudiant, we said is going to be the student's name. You can adjust it here. Sexo is gender, spelled improperly, so we can fix that. So we can come in here and we can make a master file instead of doing it in the select tool. We can make it once so that any time someone reads in a fail agree Bolivia data set that has 22 or more questions, they'll have the option to rename them instantaneously. So what we're going to do today is instead of using the select tool, I'm going to show you something called the dynamic renaming feature. So now that we see this source data set, I'm going to save it to my desktop because everything is on my desktop. Um, and then we call it source for rename. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete the select tool that we had in Alteryx. Goodbye. Um, now my data set no longer has the cleaned headers, but I'm gonna come up here and I'm actually gonna to go to the search engine. Um, Dynamic is gonna be one of the gray tools. It's not one that you're gonna use all the time, but when you do use it, it's really cool. So we're gonna do dynamic rename. See, it's in the gray section. And I'm gonna bring the dynamic rename over here. Now, what it's going to ask for is it's going to ask for the left side of the data and for the right side of the data. The left side is always going to be your raw data pulled in. So those are the names of the categories that we had from our data set. For the right side of the data, I'm going to input. Remember to input, we can just grab from up there. We may choose from the drop down. As we said, I was going to save this on my desktop as the name source for rename. I'm going to use the 22 question for the 2016 data set. I know that because I'm, I've been dealing with the data. So we see the names and what they can be converted to. And I'm going to bring that to the right side of the data. So from the left side of the data, I'm bringing the full data set. From the right side of the data, I'm bringing in the source. I'm going to click on the dynamic rename. And in the dynamic rename, instead of doing a formula, instead of telling it I want to do something, I'm going to tell it to take the name from the right side. You see that taking the name from the left side isn't even an option. So I'm going to take the name from the right side, and I want it to go in as the row headers. So take field names from the right, that's the one I just made, and then put them as the row headers. And then what do I want it to use? Well, from the old one, so let's take a quick look at our source here. Of course, I don't have it open anymore. But if we take a quick look at my source data set, on the left, we had called it value. And on the right, that's what we wanted to show was the reference. And so when I talk about this, I'm gonna say the old field name is gonna be the reference. And the new field name is gonna be the value. Let's just make sure I have that right. Nope, I was wrong. The old one is the value and the new one is what we're gonna to refer to. You might wanna use your own words that make that make sense to you. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna look through the data set. It's gonna find P1 and if P1 exists, it's gonna replace it 
in the row header as the word father education. So if I click run, there were more fields there than necessarily in the data set. And so if I look here, you can see that from the raw data, we had numbers estudiante sexo. And if we look at the dynamic rename, it has record, student name, gender, class, father's education, father's work. And so in one step, it renamed all of them. And if we had another data file to bring in, we could do it again, instead of having to go in and do it separately with the select tool. Hopefully that gave you a nice introduction to the dynamic renaming.